Hello, today I'm going to show you a quick way to remove acne and wrinkles in Photoshop. The first thing you want to do is make an adjustment layer by hitting Control J on your keyboard. Secondly, you're going to scroll in, get in tight to the face where the, where the acne is. You're going to go over to the um, Spot Healing Brush Tool, which looks like a band-aid. To control the size of the tool, you'll hit your right arrow, I'm sorry, right bracket keys to make it larger, and the left bracket keys to make the size smaller. Simply hover over the top of the acne and go ahead and just start clicking right on it, and you'll notice it just fades away. So we'll run through his face really quick and get everything cleaned up here. I like to do scars, um, acne, um, if there's any um, scratches or anything on children's faces, those are the things I get. I don't do a lot of um, freckles and, ac and um, moles and things unless the, someone tells me to remove that because that's just part of the person's face, that's part of their character. So that looks pretty good. Now we have this large area here. We're going to use the patch tool for that. We're going to left or right click on the spot healing brush tool to get the fly out menu and select patch tool. We're going to come over and circle the affected area and clicking our mouse right in the center there we can pull away from it and notice that um, where whatever clean skin that we put our cursor over, it's going to bring that clean skin area right into the uh, center of where we are patching. If you go to an area that's darker skin, where the, maybe there's a shadow or something, it is going to show. So you want to stay right close to your sample area. Just let go with your mouse and it cleans up the area. Then you can hit Control D to deselect the marching ants. So um, let's say you have somebody that had wrinkles. Logan has a few. We will take them out for the purpose of this tutorial. Go back to your spot healing brush tool and just size your brush down really small and then just trace those wrinkles and they will just melt away. Everybody is happy to have their wrinkles melt away. And we'll go get the other eye. There we go. And that looks pretty good. So, let's just zoom out. We can double click the hand tool to refill our frame. We can hit the eyeball on the layer palette to see before and after. Let's zoom in a little bit. Also, we can get rid of some of these stray hairs. Just going in there and cleaning those up just a little bit. There we go. That looks better. Alright, that's how you remove acne and wrinkles. Once you have that done, you're going to just um, downsize your merger layer by hitting Control E and then you can do File and Save As. So thank you for um, visiting my tutorial today.